Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and where am I today? You might be able to read it from there, but probably not. I am in a CTM map. It is Sea of Cinders by Moldy, and Render, Render XR, who made Corona Trials, I guess was a tester on this map, and he said that I might enjoy it. It was kind of a resource-starved map, and I think it has only seven wool objectives and one emerald block bonus objective. Find and complete the victory monument. Use only wolves and emerald mana chests. You can craft the emerald buck. Always use at least easy. The map is balanced around normal, which I haven't actually played 112 before. Okay, I am on normal, so that's good. I'm going to check some other video settings and things really quick. Yeah, it seems like everything is set up properly in this version, and so I guess we can give it a go. It looks like there is possibly some wood for me here, and I wonder... That looks like it might be stone, but it might also be, like, stone slabs. And I don't know if any of this is going to turn out to be silverfish, and who knows if there's going to be lava beneath any of this. But I guess we'll go ahead and give things a try here. If I get at least three, I could at least make a pickaxe. So I guess we'll start with that. Uh, under the assumption that's a good thing to do. Is it a good thing to do? Who knows? It's always... Anytime you're playing a new map, especially from someone who you haven't played a CTM map from before, it's always, you never know exactly what their style is and exactly what to expect. All right, so that is indeed stone. How about this? I guess I can try punching it in this version. Uh, yeah, it seems like that is too. All right, so it is possible for us to make a stone pick. And I would still have enough uh, to make some other stone tools and things as well. Uh, hey, look at that. I've already got advancements. Getting an upgrade. I guess I'll leave some of the wood behind here. And I don't know that I'm going to need a shovel for anything. So maybe we'll just go ahead and make an axe and kind of call it <laughs> call it a day right there for now. Um, I think I'm kind of tempted to leave this behind. Yeah, I wonder... Oh, there's a chest over here. Uh, that might have had starting tools. I might have should have taken a look at that earlier. And let's see. I should take a look around. It looks like there's a spawner over there. We've got husks. So I guess are we in a desert? We're in desert hills. Okay. And it looks like there's a chest over there as well. More husks. I could use some of this glowstone if I needed the lighting, but with all the lava around, it seems like we're pretty okay. And yeah, it looks like there's probably a chest over there as well. And, yeah, I guess let's start things off just by kind of following the path and seeing where it takes us. Um, torches and things. Oh, there's even some iron right here. Yeah, I don't have a sense of uh, how difficult this map is going to be. Helm of the Hero. All right. I expect that opening this chest could cause a block update, which could cause all of the sand to go away. I think is my understanding of Minecraft physics and block updates, so let's stand back just in case. Helm of the Hero. Curse of Binding. For those who seek a challenge, minus 10 max health unbreakable. Um... <laughs> okay. Uh, if you want to play with half health, you can choose to do that. I will not choose to do that. But that's interesting. Uh, looks like I'm going to need blocks in order to get anywhere. Uh, there might be ways that you could just, like, parkour across all of this. But it seems like the smart thing to do is just to grab some blocks. I won't worry about gathering the iron just yet. And instead, we'll try heading over in this direction. Now, it could be the case that all of the sand, like, might fall if I give it a block update. So I should probably be very careful around the sand. But we'll go ahead and just make ourselves a nice straight path to make things easy. And, okay... I did not see the spawner. I'm going to stand back and just see if I just missed it because I was oblivious. Yes, I just missed it because I'm oblivious, apparently. Okay, that's fair enough. And I think I actually prefer to kill the zombies rather than just knock them into the lava because they'll drop zombie flesh like this guy just did. And so if I need a little bit of food, I'll have some. Um, but I think I probably do want to take out that spawner. I have enough blocks that I could stack up there, and I think it did just spawn some bad guys. So I think now if I run over there, I'm going to have to hop over a block at the end. Um, but I think I can do this. And so to start things off, we'll do that. And from up here, let's just get a sense 
Looks like we've got much more of a castle kind of area over there. There's something green up there that I'm not sure if it's a creeper or an emerald marker or something. Looks like almost like a little town over there. It's like a whole volcano or something back there. And then just a couple bits more of kind of the islands right around here. And maybe I should go that way. Might be an easy way to go as well. And I wonder if in this structure, like, is there anything inside of here? Or is it just all decorative? It looks like it might just be decorative. I would like these blocks, and so I will grab them. And yeah, then I can just hop down like this, and I think I can do that without taking any damage. Combat supplies low. All right, tell me about the combat supplies. We have a sword and a bow. Hmm. Guess I'll put the bow there. Eight arrows. Helmet and a shield. Shield is very nice. I haven't used a shield in a while. I have to, I have to remember that it's there. And we still have some blocks, so let's go ahead. Okay, this is going to update some sand. Okay, it didn't fall through, so it might be the case that these are not kind of falling block update traps. I guess it looks like there's a sign over there, and this is the kind of obvious, probably first path to go to. Let's keep an eye out for any mob spawners. It looks like probably up there there's going to be one. And, yeah, there's just some lighting glitches around here, but lava tends to have lighting glitches. Hey, here is a piece of coal, which means I can get torches. So now I have the possibility of lighting up spawners, rather than just breaking them down like I did last time. See that castle over there? Don't bridge to it. You'll get to it. Interesting. Okay. Um, I guess I will take the advice of the sign for the moment. And we'll try to head this way. I have bow and arrow if I need it. Let's go this way and see if I see mobs start spawning. We saw a husk just kind of walking around over here before. And I'm trying to decide. I think for quote-unquote safety's sake, I might just go ahead and do that and leave it. Oh, okay. Let's go up first. Oh, crap! All right. We're fine. Everybody's fine. <laughs> no problems here at all. Uh, you know what? I had a shield. <laughs> Did I mention I haven't had a uh, use for a shield in a while? Okay, I hear the skeleton, so he must be in the area below me somewhere, I suppose. Let's go ahead and take advantage of this delicious zombie flesh. And I think, did I try to put a torch down already? Or did I put one downstairs? Right. Let's go ahead and leave a torch up here as well, because I think that could be valuable. And yeah, we'll hope that we heal up a fair bit. Um, the skeleton... Oh, is he out here? Where is he exactly? Let's look around and see if we can spy our mortal enemy, the skeleton. Yeah, maybe he is back down here and I just haven't seen him yet. Oh, skeleton, oh, skeleton. Where are you hiding? Yeah, I don't want to get knocked into lava. I'm guessing he's somewhere below me because I don't see him out here. Um... Ooh, and there's gravel down there. Okay, let's take a more careful approach to this then, I think. Especially given the state of my health. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh! Um, hay bales would be food. But the gravel suggests that all of that's going to fall. I wonder, can I... And I also suspect that there's a skeleton over here that I just haven't seen yet. Let's do this. Before I do that... I'm going to try to look on this side and see... Okay, found skeleton. Great. Um, the enemy has been identified. I'll go ahead and even use one of my torches there. It doesn't sound like there's a spawner. I think he was just like a natural spawn. Um, but how am I going to... I might be able to hit him in the feet. Yes. I've taken aim, people. All right, and I can see him again. Look at me. I'm using a bow and arrow. It's like I've played this game before. Amazing. All right, let's watch what happens. Okay, that just fell into soul sand. And there's a little sign. The sign probably says something along the lines of, if you fell for that trap, then you're going to have a hard time with this map. Uh, or something like that, because that's the type of sign that map makers like to leave with little initial traps. Really? You think I would use the old falling gravel trick? <laughs> All right, doesn't seem like there's any dangers down here. I do want to collect the blocks, because uh, blocks are almost always valuable, as well as the bones are great. And now I can go make myself some food. 
I did not bring the crafting table with me, and I guess I would need that in order to turn these into actual bread. And so, yeah, I guess I have to make a trip back to my crafting table. All right, I can do that. Ah, but there's a zombie who has spied me. Uh, there is another piece of coal here, I just realized, and so I would like to grab that. So I will do that. And the zombie could be food, so once again, I'll try to kill him in a way that he doesn't fall in the lava. And that neither do I. <laughs> Great. And look at this. Got some more delicious zombie flesh. It's an extremely healthy snack for the Minecraft player who's been fighting skeletons and creepers. All right, so I wonder, let's just, hmm. Yeah, I'll leave the crafting table that's there at spawn just in case I need it uh, back there and I'll just grab this for another new crafting table that I can carry around with me. Um, but let's go ahead and craft it up right here. And how did these work? Yes, great. Um, do I want to transform all of them? Let's assume so. There's still more if I need it. And let's also swap our blocks around a little bit. I think like that is how I would prefer to have things. Right, and I need to remember that my four slot is now my bow. And I was going to craft some more torches, torches, torches. All right, we're up to five torches. Look out, world. We're healing up from our delicious bread. We will be on to conquer the rest of the area in no time. Oh, there was a piece of wood right there, and I didn't even notice. All right, so there are little bits of wood spread around. And, oh yeah, there's a piece of wood right there, too. Okay, there's a lot of wood that I didn't notice. I'm going to go ahead and leave the wheat there. We can always go and retrieve it in the future, if necessary. Oh, there's more coal here as well. Um, I might want the more coal for more torches. For right now, five torches is enough for lighting things up. Uh, this coal is just too easy to grab. I don't have the sticks to go with it. I see, there's a little bit more wood over here. And presumably, let's see, what do I think this is going to spawn? I can't quite see the spawner from here. So let's just get close. Okay, it looked like zombies, I think. Yeah, I hear a zombie. Um, and he has seen me. Okay, so we'll deal with the zombie. And is there any chance that I want to just light up this spawner? I think yes, and we'll see if there's like a chest that's at the base of it. I think if I put a single torch on top of the spawner, that will probably make it well enough lit that it's not going to spawn any more bad guys. And since my hearts are not down that uh, too much, I think I'm just going to... Um, not worry about it in terms of healing up just yet. Okay, so over here we can kind of continue just the little circle around the outside. Oop, crap. All right, well now I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> and I feel like a dummy. Uh, it might be the case that that could still spawn. Yeah, I can probably still spawn zombies on the edge. Well, if they happen to fall on me, then I'll just feel foolish. Let's go ahead and run on past. And see what we're getting to over here. Am I going to need more blocks? I don't think so yet. Oh, there was a chest over here, and I just ran right by it. Uh, let's go check out what's inside this chest. Hello. Oh, crap. You know what I said? <laughs> All right. I feel foolish. My plan worked. It was completely successful. Okay. Uh, so that will still spawn zombies because the torch doesn't have quite enough range uh, to deal with all the spawning spot. And so I guess I just want to go ahead and break that. Um... And potions low. I don't know that I'm interested in the potions right now. Um, so I'll break it on the way back, I think. Let's try to move forward. And I'm curious how deep is the lava. It looks like the lava might be one deep here. And so I can use this gravel that we got from the falling trap earlier in order to make a more successful bridge. And we're getting into an area that has spawned lots of mobs due to just darkness. And we are getting some lighting updates. And so perhaps that's going to cure some of the darkness around here. Um, but let's stand somewhere where we're reasonably safe of not getting tossed into lava and deal with a few of the bad guys here. Ooh, more delicious food. Hooray. And this guy might fall into the lava if he's not careful. All right, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, doing my usual strategy of kind of taking things slow here at the start. But I think I'm starting to get a feel for kind of how this map is going to play out. And I didn't see what spawner was up there. It might be a husk spawner. Uh, let's go ahead and just add a little bit of light here so no more natural spawns are going to come in. And, okay, we got a skeleton. I'll use my bow and arrow on him after I get rid of the creeper. That's actually potentially good. And now let's go ahead and block this off because I would prefer 
keep some of these blocks. Thank you. And yeah, skeleton. Oops. All right. We'll go back to the skeleton in just a moment. Um, and the husk has seen me already because they can see you from far away. And right, I have a shield. Let's try to remember it. Haha! -ha! I got an achievement even. The game is rewarding me for my use of the shield. Hooray. Okay. And I don't know if this guy just spawned. It doesn't seem like I'm in range of the spawner. Maybe this guy spawned earlier and I just hadn't noticed him walking up before. All right. And how many arrows do I have? I only have four arrows. So let's be careful about that as well. Um, I have enough blocks that I could pillar up there quickly and the creeper won't be able to get me if I pillar up there. So let's just run over here. And I think I'll destroy this one. Since I've maybe learned a lesson. I see, that was a skeleton spawner. And, hmm. Can I get past the creeper here? Can I convince the creeper to fall into some lava possibly? Okay, there is another chest over here. Um, I think I'll just do this, even though it's wasting some of my very few remaining arrows. There will be more arrows in the game, I'm sure. All right, so we'll do that. And we'll hop back down and we'll check out what's in this chest. And then I might have to kind of make my way back around to the beginning. Uh, and I think, did I leave an arrow over here when I killed the skeleton or did I already pick it up? I don't remember exactly where it was. Here it is. There we go. There's the arrow. Hooray. A little bit more bits of wooden things. And let's just put one torch over here as well to make me feel a little bit safer. I guess we can continue this way still. Uh, food low. I am interested in seeing exactly what's contained in that chest. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. I think at this point, let's go ahead and grab a chest that we can take back to somewhere maybe, or forward to somewhere maybe. And let's grab a little bit more wood to go with us. I guess let's just keep moving forward, and then I can always bridge back to the spawn point if I want to. Um, but I think I will start collecting a bit more. Oh! Um, I have a feeling that that could catch fire if there's a fire space above it. That also makes me wonder if there might be more TNT, like, hidden elsewhere underneath these platforms. So this could be a dangerous place. Like, it could be the case that if I break a block, like, there might be TNT that then exposed to air that could catch fire from nearby lava and, like, the whole island could go up or something crazy like that. Not sure exactly what to expect in that department. Let's go ahead and convert these and make ourselves some more torches. Um, let's see, and do I want the good foods on the bar? I guess I have enough spaces on the bar right now that I can go ahead and throw some over there. And so far, I don't think I've seen three pieces of iron, but if I do, I could make a bucket uh, if I want to choose to do that. So that could be an option in the future. Um, at some point, I'll do kind of a circle around this area collect all the resources um, and gather them up and maybe make a base at the spawn point or something along those lines. Okay, so let's carefully stand out here and just see if any of the sand is falling. It doesn't appear to be doing so. So it seems like we have blocks underneath. And if I do that... Crap! Okay. Where did you just spawn from, dude? Is there a... Husk spawner here, or did he just spawn in darkness back over there? It worries me when monsters are spawning behind me. I'm not sure why. All right. Unfortunately... Oh, I thought I heard a hiss. Like something burned in the lava. Maybe it was the experience balls that burned in the lava. Uh, but not the delicious zombie flesh. So that is good. Um... All right, that's fine. Uh, didn't look like we got any blocks out of that. Go ahead and take more wood, because wood is very valuable. And a little bit of light up here seems like it could be good. And, okay, we got a skeleton over there who's going to be a pain. Can these guys walk over here? Yes, they can. We'll go ahead and peel off a couple enemies at a time. And, actually, Creeper, you want to help us out? You could probably do the work. Hey, look at that. I remembered again <laughs> that I own a shield. All right, and I think... Uh, oh, for some reason I was thinking that my hunger was not full, but it is. All right, then I won't bother switching to the zombie flesh. Okay, I think a skeleton just went... Yeah, there's the skeleton. 
We'll spend arrows on him. Uh, he's off screen for the moment. The spider is probably in an area that's well enough lit um, that it is not going to attack me. Of course, I say that, and now it comes to attack me. Ah. All right. Oops. <laughs> ah. I'm used to my axe being in my four slot, and so that was kind of silly. But hey, I bopped the skeleton on the head with the bow, and it confused him so much that he decided to go take a swim in the lava. Uh, these potatoes could be valuable if I ever find any um, dirt. Dirt is the word I was looking for. This looks like another place where there could be like a TNT trap underneath the wood. Uh, so let's be wary of such things. I see. He was saying that don't make a bridge because if you do the spiral, it's going to spiral all the way out, I think, in order to get us there. I think is how I'm understanding that previous sign. And let's see. At this point, I'm carrying lots of resources on me, and it's probably not necessarily a smart thing to do. And so I'm going to drop off a few things I don't need to be carrying in here for the moment to try to keep them safe. All right, and after a bit of inventory management, let's go ahead and keep on moving forward. Looks like we can just bridge our way over to here. I should be wary because he's kind of setting me up for the sand never falls, the sand never falls, and then like at some point the sand will fall. Um, it's definitely a thing that map makers do, although it could also be the case that there simply aren't going to be any traps of that nature. Uh, and so, but you never know. Let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. Looks like this is kind of our first approach to the map. That looks kind of like a stylized ghast made out of box. And so one imagines there's going to be a gas spawner there. And... Yeah. Guess I'm not exactly sure what to expect. And this almost looks like kind of like a gateway entrance to a new area. Kind of stretching things or whatever. And then... This part here almost looks like kind of like a hand coming up out of the lava made of stone or something. I wonder what this would look like from high above, looking down on it. But rather than continue to speculate about the art of the area, I'm going to make sure I'm not standing on sand as I do this, just in case. And it looks like I'm probably going to need more blocks in order to get over here safely. Like, I could do be doing parkour, but I prefer just to be able to kind of shift, shift walk my way over here. And so far I don't see any threats. So I guess we'll come up on the island. Yeah, these things are almost like fingers on a hand coming out or something. And let's go ahead and fix the lighting glitch in this little area. I see ladders over there. Oh, that appears to be the monument, I suppose. Okay, so it looks like I'll probably be making a forward base over here. I'm going to need some more blocks, so let me mine up a few, and then we'll bridge over there. Okay, made a bridge, and what do we got? We got an area that feels a little bit too dark, so I'm going to add some light to it. Although it's possible... Ooh, there's something down there, too. It's possible that this area... Oh, crap! Okay. I was about to check the biome to see if possibly this area was Mushroom Island or something. Uh, we didn't have to worry about mob spawns, but I think the creeper kind of uh, makes it obvious that that is not the case. I don't know that it's worth killing the creeper, honestly, there. Um, probably should... Well, I guess I'd use my sword... Or, sorry, shield durability up. Um, okay, so the monument area is not safe. I think it's basically what I just learned. Let's double check. Yeah, Desert Hills. So there could be mobs spawning all around here, and so eventually once I get bigger supplies for torches, it could be good to light this up. Um, and I have to decide where I want kind of my base base to go. I don't see any mobs who are sneaking up on me from over here right now, and I don't have any torches left at the moment. Um, there appears to be some kind of light source that's coming through over here. I wonder if I can open it up and make it come through more. Um... Or is it a fake light source? Is it a lighting glitch? <laughs> I should just go down the stairs. Here we go. Okay, there is some light. Um, let's check out what's down here. Okay, the lava down here should light this area up. 
And so down here, oh, there's a bed. Maybe this is supposed to be my safe to sleep area. Desert Hills, so it looks like it ought to be safe to sleep. And what do we got? Oh, some basic supplies. Oh, even carrots. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, this area seems reasonably safe. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep here. I presume that it's like always twilight in this world or something. I wasn't even kind of paying attention to the way that the time of day was working there. I'm going to drop off some things here and yeah, maybe just kind of circle back around to all the places that we have been and collect the resources and bring them forward here now that we have a new spawn point. While collecting resources, I went ahead and made a bridge back to the monument and I realized that there are signs on the other side that I never read. This was created for the 17th Strawberry Jam, 72 hour mapping event, built over two weekends, nostalgia, influences from classic CTM mappers, 3-2 Antelope and Vex, special thanks to Render who tested the map, thanks Render, thanks Render, and thanks for recommending it to me. So far I'm having a nice time, uh, kind of a... I don't know. Slow start, but that's kind of natural for my play style. Um, yeah, and I still haven't kind of recollected resources in some of these areas. Uh, so I'm going to do one more circle back around and get a little bit more set up at the monument, and we'll continue. I'm approaching one of the few places that may actually be exciting, because there's still the zombie spawner over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it spawn zombies once more while I pick up a couple other things over here. You know what? I didn't pick up that first piece of iron just because it seemed like maybe it was going to be a trap, but I didn't remember that I'd seen any other pieces of iron. Now that I see that there is another one, I'm going to imagine that it's just a very rare item, but this just spawned a zombie. So we'll go ahead and dispatch him, and then I'll try to run over there and grab the potions, uh, and then continue on past this place. So, even if I leave a couple of resources behind here, let's just go ahead and... Yeah, grab these. Make a run for it. Uh, I missed the chest, but that's fine. We'll just keep on moving. Um, and yeah, I'm back out of range of the spawner. Okay, so I'm going to circle around and meet you guys at the monument, and we'll be all set up. I'm feeling reasonably safe over here. I have brought all the stuff that I have forward. And the one thing I would like to do before I finish up this episode is just to add a little bit more light around the monument area itself so that I feel safer from, yeah, guys like these who are spawning. So let's see, uh, let's deal with the husk before the skeleton sees me. Actually, skeleton, you want to shoot the husk? There we go. All right, now the husk has an enemy. Uh, I should have been blocking. They can do some damage to each other. Actually, yeah, they can go duke it out down there. And meanwhile, I'll come up here and just try to add some lights. I think they probably spawned like around here. Yeah, I don't love love the idea of a monument that is kind of not in a safe area um but you got to work with what you got and so and that is what i shall do let's also go ahead and just kind of smooth things out over here a little bit and presumably one of these guys lived and one of them died the question is which was which wow spider spawned over here okay so there could be a monster in my base so i should definitely be prepared for that not in very much danger right now, so I'll go ahead and use the zombie flesh for healing up. And let's go ahead and add some light over on this side as well. And I do have a lot of coal. Wood is kind of the, the main resource that I'm worried about right at the moment. Because uh, I really don't have a lot of that, and we don't have a renewable source as of yet. But we'll try to get this lit up with the torches that I have on hand. And I have to go down and grab some more, then I'll do that. And yeah, then we'll take kind of like one last look around this area just to get a sense of what we'll be doing next. I presume this little castle is going to be our next objective, uh, probably our first objective. But I was thinking, you know, the sign at the beginning, it said find and complete the monument, and we found the monument. All we need to do now is complete it. So I'm like halfway done, right? Interesting. The zombie died down here. Oh, I still hear the skeleton, I think. Yep, there he is. Okay. So the skeleton managed to live. Until he met me! Ha ha! <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah. So far, so good. Uh, next time, it looks like we'll get into more battles with monsters over there. And, oh man, there's like spooky cave noise. 
which probably, I don't know if that's fixed or not, if it means there's darkness nearby. And it looks like actually like the front door maybe is over on this side. So maybe I should try going around that side, but oh gosh, two creepers over here. Let me go get some more torches. Uh, next episode, we will head over there and try to conquer that castle. Uh, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. Um, you are welcome to leave feedback in the comments. However, it's kind of the main case that I decided to start recording this map so that I could have some videos that I could air over Christmas break. Um, and so my expectation is basically that I'm going to record a whole lot of these videos ahead of time, so I won't be able to react to comments and feedback that people leave, you know, on episode one. Uh, I won't be able to react in episode two because I've probably recorded already like six episodes ahead of time or something like that. Um, so, yeah, just fair warning uh, in terms of setting your own expectations and what kind of feedback you can give but expect me to receive in any kind of real time. Uh, but I will deal with the rest of these creepers, add a few more torches over here so that fewer guys spawn, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.